Hey there stampers, today I'm going to share with you how to make this beautiful card. We're going to do a few different things here on this one. We're going to create our own pattern paper for behind this piece of vellum and we're going to do some coloring with our new watercolor pencils. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, the stamp set that I'm using is one that is in the 2017 okay, Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog. It's called So In Love. Um, so the Just For You is from this set as well as the flower image that I'm using. All right, this would make a great anniversary card, wedding card, thinking of you, birthday. Um, I love the Just For You saying because it, it can go for anything. So I've left it blank inside so that when I need a card I can just stamp whatever greeting on the inside. Okay, so the first thing I've done is I've taken this flower image and stamped it onto a piece of vanilla cardstock using our jet black stays on ink. Um, and the reason I chose that ink is because I'm going to be blending it with our blender pen. Okay, and this is one of our watercolor pencils. These are new in the 2017 Occasions catalog. So they come in, they're mostly brights, but there's a couple other colors in here. There's Calypso corals and then there's some coral and then there's some neutrals. There's a white, black, and a basic gray and early espresso. The rest of the colors, I believe, are all brights. Um, and they are absolutely amazing. They go on so smoothly, they blend beautifully, and I love that they coordinate with our colors as well. And it's great that they have the color tip as well as the color printed on the actual pencil. All right. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just take my pencil and I'm pushing quite hard. And I'm just adding a touch of color just where I want it to be a little bit darker on the flower petals. You don't need to color in the whole thing. You can, but you'll see how nicely it blends. Okay, so you get the idea. So I've got one here that's completely finished. Now I'm going to take my blender pen and I'm just gonna, oh, you can see that this one is well loved. Um, just go on the scrap just to make sure that there's no other color already in there. And then I'm just pulling the color from the darker part and then pulling it up to the top. You can see that it just smooths out those pencil lines and just pulls the color away and it gradually gets lighter. You can go in a circular motion as well and that works just as well. And this blender pen I think is drying out here. That's not blending very well. That's a little bit better. All right, so you can see that it just gradually gets lighter as you go up towards the top of the petal. And if you didn't want that, if you wanted to have a solid color, you could color in the whole thing or even just color up a little higher. All right, so you can see how that's, hopefully you can see how that's blended. Here's one that's finished. Isn't that pretty? So I've gone ahead and cut, trimmed around the edges for that. And now we're gonna create our patterned paper. So I'll set those aside. I have got a piece of vanilla cardstock that measures three and three quarters by five. And again, I'm going to use this flower image and some Daffodil Delight ink. And I'm gonna create my patterned paper. Now, a couple things when you're creating your own patterned paper, you wanna look, you want it to make, you want to make it look so that it's cut down to the size that you want. So you wanna be sure to always stamp over the edge as well. And just be random about it. For some people that's a little bit more challenging. A lot of us are very symmetrical. So just add a few around the edges. Maybe get one more a little bit there. So there we go. We've got our own patterned paper. So now what I'm going to do is start assembling. Oh, I've got a couple other pieces that I've got pre-done here. So this little piece here is two layers of our stitched shapes framelits. So this is a, a set of framelits that Stampin' Up! released in November of 2016 
and it has carried over and will be in the next annual catalog, but it is available as of January 16, 2017. They sold out, they went on back order, um, but they will be available again January 16th. So you get four different sized squares, four different sized circles, and four different sized ovals. And what's great about these, they're not just squares, circles, and ovals, but they've got the little stitch marks around them. So it just adds a little bit to your projects. Okay, so I've used two size squares and just stuck them together. And then I'm going to add some fast fuse to the back. And let's get rid of the scrap. And I'm going to position this on here like that. And then this is going to go on top. So this piece of vellum is cut to the same size as this vanilla piece. So it's three and three quarters by five. So, and the reason why I stuck this on first was so that I can use, put my adhesive behind the yellow squares so that you can't see the adhesive. Okay, so I'll stick that on there. And then I'm going to use a couple dimensionals here on the back. And a little tip when you're using your dimensionals, if you're using the Stampin' Up! dimensionals, they come on a sheet um, and they're actually hexagon shape. But what I do, they stick so well, you don't need a whole hexagon. So what I do is I, I trim mine down the center of each hexagon. So I put half. So this is actually only two and a half dimensionals rather than putting a full dimensional on all four corners and in the center. You really don't need a full one. They stick beautifully. Okay, so then I've got my card base, which measures five and a half by eight by yeah, eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I'm just gonna fold that along the score line and then remove the backings. And center that on the card base. Okay, so now it's time to add this guy. And if you look on the sample, I've got some of our gold thread in behind. So I want it to come off of this side. You can see that I use, I use all my scraps. I'm a very frugal stamper. So I've got some of our gold thread. And there's a few different ways that you can do this, but what I'm gonna do this time is I'm going to take it and wrap it around three fingers, four fingers, three fingers, four fingers. That just provides me with a few different sized loops and then carefully slide it off and you saw that I added a little bit of fast fuse there so I'm going to stick that on there sometimes it oh well that didn't work very well usually it sticks better than that and really it doesn't matter like the messy kind of look is works just fine wow that's that really did not work very well. And that's because I'm filming. <laughs> All right, so then I'll add a couple dimensionals. I usually try to add a dimensional over top of that twine just to hold it in place a little bit better. And then I'm gonna position this where I want it. That looks about right. And there we go, it's all finished. Isn't that pretty? And it's so simple. You really do need to try these watercolor pencils. They're amazing to play with. Love, love, love them. All right, if you're looking for more inspiration, feel free to visit my blog at www.stamptreasures.com. Thanks for watching.